In an industry where youth is prized and fresh blood is eagerly sought after, where aging is seen as a hindrance and experience is not as much of a priority anymore, one player has stood the test of time and has accomplished what no one else has done. But here comes Captain Puffy into the front lines. Black hole onto everyone and Havost goes to town. Four dead, it could be five, it could be game off of one black hole. Holy Ooh. shit. One tonight, four stabs actually to the high ground. He will still die because Puffy with the freezing field catches out PGG right for that freezing field. It's just a wrecking ball right now. That is going to be only two people alive. And one is only alive because he just bought that. Clement Puppy Ivanov was born in Tartu, Estonia in 1990. From early on, it was clear that Clement was meant for bigger and better things. The versatility and mastering of all roles that he has become famous for surfaced in his pre-teens and adolescence. He placed music and gaming as a priority above traditional education. By age 18, Clement had already mastered the clarinet, violin, guitar, saxophone, flute and singing. He was fluent in Estonian, English, and Russian. He started gaming at 13 years old when his parents bought him his first computer. He then competed in multiple Warcraft 3 and Dota tournaments. Puppy began playing competitive Dota at age 18 when he joined Zero Skill. He was on various teams and rosters while slowly gaining the attention of professional players. It wasn't until DreamHack 2009 when Puppy would land his big break and begin writing history. There he stood in for Mouse Esports and he would meet Kuroki, forming one of the most classic and recognizable duos in Dota 2. When we went to DreamHack 2008, I think, uh, I met Puppy like before that, some weeks, and then he stood in in DreamHack because Strage couldn't come. And that's where I met Puppy and uh, we played DreamHack, we got third place, and then we decided to make a team together. This event led to King Surf International, eventually Nirvana International, and then Gosu Gamers, before the invite to a CIS team, which would become one of the most iconic moments in Dota and esports history. In June 2011, Puppy was invited to play with the Ukrainian team Natas Vincir. It was mere weeks before the release of Dota 2 and the team obtained access via a beta key before being invited to compete at the International. Try and bring down Roshan, all five. Dandy, he's gonna jump out. He goes for the dream call, he gets him. He gets Ehorn, holds him in the middle lane. Navi, already on the way out of pit. They're coming in to help out Dandy. Then he just went in and demolished them. Now, they're on top of the tier three tower. They're gonna bring it down. Yes, it does, it goes down. Ehorn, they're drawing desperately to defend, but not be. The onslaught will continue. The mid tower is already being pushed. The tier four tower is gonna go down. And running in right now is the rest of Na'Vi. They're running forward to $1 million, and they will get it. The GG is the call from Ehorn. Na'Vi have just won. champions this defining moment irrevocably shaped dota 2 and puppy's career it was not long after that puppy became the captain and drafter for navi under his incredible leadership and strategic sense navi flourished and took nine podium spots and went on to the grand finals twice more at ti2 and again at ti3 pretty much a leader a picker I don't know, psychiatrist, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> I, I don't know how much things I can do for the team. I yell a lot at them if per a person gets too far with us, you know, if he thinks he's above other people or he thinks that other people think that they are above, that's why he created it. So, you know, I do the dad job sometimes. And then I do the psychiatrist job and asking, what do you think and why? this and you know what did you have in your dream and stuff why do you have this problem and then I do like picking and then I do leading I have to say that it's 
getting tough for each year. <laughs> his ability to stay on top of the meta and outmaneuver his opponents in drafts led to his massive success. <laughs> then he said, this is the only way we can win the game. Us two, just doing that stupid stuff. I was like, all right, let's go. Then he's gonna try it again, can he? Got him that time! See you in the base move! Whenever I saw enemy around, I would ask Papi TP me. He would TP me and I would try hooking. Oh, there we go, the hook, got uh -huh. it! Fountain hook, fountain hook, fountain hook. It would continue. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Just keep it up. Tong Fu didn't know what to do. Like, they actually screwed up quite a lot. The players with Chen teleport was one of the most amazing things that I've done. It was uh, vicious, <laughs> and I was part of it. All good things come to an end, and in the post-TI4 shuffle, Puppy left Na'Vi and began a new chapter and a new beginning. I am a professional gamer, and I play a game called Dota 2 for Team Secret, which I also own and I'm founder of. Always wanted to play with Puppy because he's like one of the best captains, right? With the formation of Team Secret, Puppy became the first player to win two Valve events and play in eight major Grand Finals and three TI Finals. At age 31, he's the only player to compete in all 10 internationals. I like games which challenge me. Games that put me to a test. Dota is my test. It's my challenge.